Welcome back, Oakland families. We're going to quickly go over our morning and afternoon drop-off. In the mornings, you will follow the line around, stopping whenever the car in front of you stops. Once you get up to the sidewalk, as soon as uh, you are able to stop, you will do so and let your children out of the car. We have three doors that the students will go in. Uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade will go into their hallway. First and second grade will go into the main door. And kindergarten will walk down into the doorway down by the gym. So if you notice, we have our littlest kindergartner walking down towards the gym door. We have our second grader going in the main door and our fourth grader going into the third, fourth, and fifth grade door. If your child needs to have lunch or breakfast, <laughs> they will be able to go to the cafeteria. Afternoon pickup. You're gonna drive along our main road. There'll be cones blocking off the main uh, road right about here, and then you will take a left into our parking lot. You'll follow it down to the back row where you will take a right. This allows us to get as many cars into the car rider line without backing up onto Arlington too much. While you're driving around the parking lot, now's the perfect time to make sure you get your car rider tag out and hang it on your rear view mirror. A couple of things to note while we are driving through the parking lot. Uh, your children will be waiting for you with an adult. Please do not call them over to you. You need to pull up to the adult they are standing at. That way we can check to make sure that they are getting into the correct car. Also, please stay in your car. The teachers out there will be more than welcome to or happy to walk uh, your students to the car and make sure they get into the car. When you get here to the stop sign, there will be a teacher calling those numbers, which is why it's important that you have your car rider number uh, displayed by this point so that your student will get called from the multi-purpose room to come on out. You'll take a left and continue into our car rider line. Once we make it down to the awning, that is where the students will be waiting to get into the cars. They'll be forming a single file line there will be a teacher that will be calling their numbers to go to one of the four or five adults standing out there. So number one, number two, number three, or number four. Once uh, your child is standing, please make sure you have your car rider number up when you're getting your child. That way that we know that we're putting them in the right car. So the children are getting called. Number one. Next student goes to number two. The next student's waiting at the line for their turn. You'll pull up all the way to the adult that has your child. When the car door is open, the adult will let your student get into the car and tell them, have a great day. If you do need to buckle your student in, please pull up to the grass across the way. Uh, you can pull over there and then exit your vehicle to be able to buckle them into any safety seat if needed. Just a few reminders and just remember safety is our number one priority so uh, we're doing all of this to keep your students safe. Hope that helps. Uh, do know that it's going to take a lot longer the first couple of weeks until the students learn their car rider numbers. The faster your student learns the car rider number, the faster we can get them into the cars. Uh, and this will be a great year.